Hey everyone, this is Tamara with From the Treetop and I'm bringing you uh, my first overlay tutorial. I had mentioned this on Facebook and there was a lot of interest in it. If you haven't already viewed my basic textures tutorial one, I encourage you to go ahead and do that because some of the methods I'm gonna use in this tutorial, uh, you can learn on that basic textures tutorial one. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me explain a little bit about what overlays are. Overlays um, are basically a transparent layer that will go over your image to create uh, certain effects. Uh, they're really good for vintage processing, for making papers for cards, website graphics, backgrounds, etc. I'm working in Photoshop CS5. The image has already been prepped. I made it a little bit more uh, high contrast than what I normally work with because I know I'm going to be layering textures and overlays onto it and so that will mute out some of the whites um, just by the process. So I went ahead and made it a little brighter than normal. By using the place method that I discussed in the basic tutorial uh, one on textures, we're going to go ahead and choose a texture to go on this image first. So we'll go up here to file, place, I'm going to select the texture um, Worn Novel and Vintage Black and White from the FTT Textures and Overlays. Okay. And like I said, if you don't know how to do this method, just take a look at the tutorial and it will explain it to you. So we have our texture on top of our image. At this point, I want to go ahead and uh, set my blend mode. I think I'm going to go with Overlay. Now, as you can see, this particular texture put into overlay um, kind of washes out the image. And even when I lower the opacity, I'm losing the texture. And I know that uh, with a lot of my textures, you might find this, that this is going to happen. But I have a specific way that I layer textures to be able to create these effects without losing all of the texture detail. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at about 70% at this point. Now what we want to do is we want to uh, select our texture layer right above your image and we're going to layer that texture. We're going to duplicate it on top of itself. But before we do that, let's go ahead and clean up the skin. It's hard to see right now that she has texture on her skin because this texture is so light, but we know it's there. So let's go ahead and select the lasso tool and I have it set to 150. We'll go ahead and outline her and get rid of that um, coarse texture on her skin using the average method. Up to filter, blur, and average. So we know that her skin is now cleaned up. Um, back over to your texture layer, right click on the texture layer and just select duplicate layer. Now the beauty of this is that because you have already cleaned up her skin in that first layer and you duplicated it, you don't have to do that again. So that saves you a little bit of work. So let's just go up here and deselect so we don't have that area around her. Now we have uh, an even brighter image. So how are we going to correct this? Let's go down to the middle layer. That would be the first texture that you had applied. Go up to your blend mode. And this is a little bit of what I was referring to when I spoke about multiply and uh, color burn layers. We're going to select multiply. And as you can see, it already has given depth back to the image. And not only that, but we can see all this great detail from this, uh, this particular texture, which the worn novel tends to look like old creased paper or an old creased photograph. What I have here, once again, is the top layer, the top duplicate texture layer is set to overlay and you can um, bring it up or down to your taste and the middle layer or the bottom layer is set to multiply. And here you can see without multiply, with multiply. It just makes all the difference. Let's go ahead and flatten the image. Okay, so our image is ready to um, have the overlay applied. You don't have to use textures when using overlays. I just like to create a little bit of depth with my images and play around. So you can apply the overlay without using the texture, but I just wanted to show this method of using both. Um, when you go to apply the overlay, 
you don't want to use the place method that we use to apply textures because the overlay file is a layered PSD file. And if you try to place it, it will flatten the file. So you just need to go ahead and open it in a separate window. So let's go ahead and do that now. I have selected the um, FTT overlay distressed. Okay, so now you see we have our image and our overlay. Your overlay is not green. <laughs> and I know that um, it might look like it is because of the background. Uh, the background is simply there um, because it is a layered file and to, so you can distinguish between the background layer and uh, the transparent layer, which is actually your overlay, which is going to give you all that great texture and distress. So let's just go ahead and um, select our move tool. Make sure you have the, the transparent layer of the overlay selected. Hold down your shift key and just drag over onto your image. Go ahead and close that out now. Now, just like with the texture, your overlay is not always going to be the exact same size as your image. So we're just going to use the free transform method to size that. And you can either come up here to um, edit and go to free transform or um, quick key shortcut in Photoshop would be command T. And let's go ahead and hold the shift key as we drag the corners. And holding that shift key just keeps that aspect ratio where we want it. Let's double click, and we now have our transparent overlay on top of our image. Uh, now it's a little bit, you know, bold here, and this is probably more dramatic than most people are going to want to use, unless of course you're making um, papers or graphics, which in that case it can be really great. But um, in this case, let's go ahead and uh, let me show you how we can make it more subtle. But you could go ahead and leave it in the normal mode and just change your opacity and that gives a really neat effect. Or you can go up here and select uh, your soft light or overlay mode. I'm going to select soft light. But just like with textures, we have that undesired um, effect on her skin as well. We don't want her to have scratches and cracks on her skin. You might, you might want to make it look like a, a, a photograph that has been damaged, but in this case, I, I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and remove that from her skin. Now the average method that I have discussed with textures is not going to work with the transparent overlay file. And the reason for that is because the average blur tool works based on the color in the layer. And of course the transparent layer has no color. So in this case, this is when you can use your eraser to remove um, the texture from the skin. So let's go over here to our eraser and make sure you have it set to zero hardness, a nice soft edge. And let's just come over here and just gently erase. As you can see, I'm going to take it just off of the skin because I actually um, like it on the clothing. So I'm just going to take it off of her skin. And I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten the file. And now um, maybe I'll go ahead and burn the edges a little bit. Go over here and select burn. And uh, just kind of add a little bit of vignetting. And you can, you can play around with it. You can dodge and burn. You can um, even change the hue a bit. Okay, so there you have it. Now you have um, a beautifully processed image with some real vintage touches. So I hope this has been helpful. Here you can go ahead and see the before and the after. So it makes quite a difference. Be sure to share any of your results with me on my Facebook page. If you're using FTT textures and overlays, I love to see them. I'm at facebook.com backslash from the treetop. Thanks a lot, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.